All right, it is week 11 of the Fanatec GT3 Challenge Fixed Series, and the race is at one of my favorite tracks, Interlagos. Now, I actually, I took two runs at this. Uh, the first race that I ran was a 1.4KS strength of field. I was, uh, I think I qualified uh, as P13. I was car number 10. And everything went fairly well. I avoided a major incident at the beginning of the race, but I wound up getting into the rear end of somebody turning him around. And just for the sake of sportsmanship, I didn't feel right kind of gaining a position, getting up to P7 um, as a result of spinning somebody else. So I let other cars by and waited for him, let him back by to recover. He recovered uh, P12. Uh, I followed along in P13, and the competition was such that I couldn't get any better than that. So I lost I rating and safety rating as a result of that. So I decided to run a second race, and so that's what you're going to watch now is the second race, which was a complete race, and actually I got a decent finish. So um, enjoy. It's action-packed, um, and I, I will say that the safety rating continues to decline. Enjoy the race. All right, I'm the number 13 car, um, qualified P9 with a 133.73. Um, the number two and number five car didn't post a qualifying time, so they either had a bad qualifying or chose not to qualify, but there's be somebody that I'd uh, worry will kind of make their way through the field as we go through the race. Um, so a 1.4K strength of field, so uh, about what I would expect. And uh, we'll see how we do. Got to keep your nose clean to, to finish this race cleanly and uh, do well. So that's going to be the primary goal. Um, sort of hold station and uh, get a little bit of a positive I rating, positive safety rating out of uh, this race. This is one of my favorite races, uh, race tracks. I love Interlagos. Um, I like the flowy nature of it. I like the, the challenge of it. Some difficult turns, some tight braking areas, um, and some really good high speed sections. So it's a, a good track. So we'll see. Track temperature is also really low, 67 degrees Fahrenheit, which is lower than most of the practice sessions for this particular week setup, um, ranging from 67 all the way up to as high as 80 track temps in some of the practices uh, that I've seen. So um, this is low temperature, so should uh, produce some pretty high speeds and good grip. The air temp is 64 Fahrenheit. The track temp is 67 Fahrenheit. Follow car number three in the left If I appear to grimace through this race at any point, uh, I actually um, aggravated my back again this weekend, moving some boxes. Doesn't make me want to race any less, just makes it a little more painful to do so. <laughs> A lot of rubber banding going on here. I'm not sure what that's about. Usually it's surviving turn one here that's the real trick. These people are aggressive in these iRacing Open series. Green, let's go, let's go! Got a 4x out of that miss.
God damn it. Overly ambitious motherfucker. It cost me another 8 X or four X. On the first goddamn lap. Fucking asshole. So safety rating is out the window, as far as this race is concerned. Okay, Chip, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on, E5. Now I'm just in it for the points and I'm pissed. And these two yachts are going to take themselves out. Come on, dude. Get better. That's a Max Benicky line, by the way. I don't really mean that. But I heard him say that to a guy that did something similar to him in a race and it just felt good. <laughs> you don't know who Max Benike is, uh, look him up. Maximilian Benike. He is, uh, used to be known as uh, 10K Benike, but then he got up to 11K. Really good driver, but not the gentlest of personalities. Come on, baby. These guys are back together again. Like Sonny and Cher, or Ike and Tina. So I'm going to dip Nolo 4.0 uh, for the first time in probably six months in safety rating. That sucks.
That was absolutely ridiculous. Could be full. Well done, Chip. Nice move, mate. This is good. Keep banging out them lap times. P3. Behind is reeling you in. The gap is now zero point two one. This is the aggressive asshole too. So. Don't let him get away. Unpredictable a hole. Defend your position, don't let him through. P4. It's horrible. 
Five. You're two tenths off the pace in sector three. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 1.2. Come on, don't start getting sloppy, Jit. This guy distract you.
Fucking hell, defend these positions. Now he drove it right. It's easy being the chase, is it, buddy? Although he is quick. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. White flag, one more to go. Okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate. Well, that was fun, right? Um, not gonna lie, uh, that was a pretty horrendous uh, incident uh, tally uh, for this race. I wound up with 10 incident points. Of course, eight of those incident points were a result of two car contacts that I would argue were not my fault, um, all on the first lap. Um, that being said, uh, I had two additional off tracks, giving my big total to 10 incident points, which rounded out to a 0 0.65 loss in I rating for that race. So I went from a 4.06 to a 3.42. So I'll have to work on that um, in subsequent races. But 
finishing fifth uh, and starting as car number 13 in the um, 1464 strength of field race that this was gave me a bump of 52 I rating points to uh, 1512. So this is the first time ever that I've been above 1500 um, in iRacing, so pretty exciting. So um, this series has seen two major, major milestones for me. One is uh, the first time I'm above 1500 um, after this race. And then uh, a little earlier in the season, the, the spa race, um, was my 100th race um, in iRacing, road race um, in, in iRacing. So that's pretty exciting. Um, the all-important championship points, 70 championship points, um, which I haven't quite looked yet to see what that does for me in terms of standings, but I believe it puts me on the first page, and that's all eight races that count in the series booked. Now, I do have one additional race at Montreal next week that I can see if I can maybe displace one of my lower points uh, standings races um, from the earlier part of the season and go from there. But this isn't a bad haul. I, I'm a little bummed at the safety rating, but it wasn't a boring race to watch. And at the end of the day, I'm, I'm part entertained, right? So uh, it was fun from that perspective. But uh, um, for those of you that grimaced uh, for the high safety rating uh, uh, impact, I, I apologize for my performance and I'll endeavor to do better in the future. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you do like these videos, click on like. Helps me, helps you, um, helps other people find these videos. And of course, if you do like these sorts of videos and you will be notified when I release new videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you so much and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now. Spaß machen Rennsport.